Hello, welcome to Steve's 8-Bit Gaming. Today we are on Games I Love number 32. And this is, as you can guess, on the Commodore 64. And it's Boulder Dash. Or it will be if I get it working. So, first star software, 1984. And here we go. Right, so I'm Rockford. Now, what is he supposed to be an ant or I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter really. And you got to collect all the diamonds, well, a certain amount of diamonds, then the exit opens and get out of the level. Try not to be crushed by the boulders because um, if you go under them like that and then move the fall, and you go like that, you can actually, um, yeah. If they're stacked like that, then the top one will fall off, so you got to be very careful where you go. As you can probably guess, this is a game where I get killed a lot in. So, how many diamonds have we got? Seven. Oh, nearly got killed. <laughs> Ten. 11, 12, that sound means the exit's open. And as we're on a timer, that'd be an idea just to find the exit rather than collect the other diamonds. <coughs> so, and I killed myself. <laughs> I do that so often in this game. You just, you just pause for a second to think, and bam, you're dead. So, we'll go back. We need, we need, tw we need 12 to open this. The door. Oh. No. Go on the top of those. Watch out, you can get killed by falling diamonds as well, so not just the rocks. Go that way so it doesn't drop those. Come on. There we go. the exit open. So, let's see if we can find it. It's usually, uh, it's usually a flashing square. Now, if I press and hold fire and then push left, it pushes a boulder without it actually moving, which is a very handy little thing to do at times. There's your exit. There's your exit. But there's, uh, there's quite a bit of time left, so maybe we can go back and get the other diamonds. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. There we go. Level one. Right, now where am I? Oh, there I'm at the bottom. Right. So we need... Ten? That flashing it just did then, if I remember rightly, it's been a while since the place, but if I remember rightly, when it flashes like that, you can drop rocks to uh, walls and it creates diamonds, but it's been a while, so I might be uh, I might be wrong with that. No, there's a nasty. There's a nasty. You don't, you don't really want to let out unless you have to. Come on. There we go. Up here, in here. Oh, diamonds there, right. Up again. Watch out for that. Dig that out. Let that fall, there you go. Push that in, get that, and that. One more to open the door, I think. There we go. And we'll get that anyway. So, the question is, where's the door? Can you see a flashing door? Pardon me. Can you see a flashing door? Where are we? 
has to be one somewhere. I bet it's right at the bloody bottom. I bet it's right at the bottom, but I'll check these sides just in case. Right. There, oh, there it is. Oh, that's a bit tricky. Um, yeah. <laughs> so if we go under there, then... Sh oh, well, that'll do. I was going to shove the boulder on, but it doesn't matter. There we go, that's two. Right. So we need, what, 24? Oh, killed. I was going to say, the thing is, for these levels like this, it's dead easy to trap yourself, but I killed myself anyway. <laughs> Let's try that again. Right. Go on, down you go, that's it. Dodge out the way of that one. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. I don't know. Uh, where am I going with this? Down here, quick. No, wasn't quick enough. Wasn't quick enough. What is it? Dodge down and right. I don't know. This is how not to play Boulder Dash. So let's try again. See if we can get, get more than three this time. I love the way he taps his foot when you wait. If you stand there doing nothing, he taps his foot. That's a really nice little effect. Now don't get crushed by that, that's it. Right. Maybe you lock those down there, like that. That's it. Um, get that one. You're not going down. Go on, down you go. I'll have that and that. And this way. So we get the diamonds one by one. That's it now, up here. Is that that? Is that, that? No, it didn't last. Time. Yeah, I think that's, I'm sure when it flickers like that, I'm sure you can like drop a diamond like this. And when it hits a wall, it actually goes through it and generate, well, not, not a rock, uh, not a diamond, sorry, a rock. And it will generate more diamonds. I'm, I'm sure that's it, but uh, I could be wrong. It's been a while. The one I played the most was the uh, Boulder Dash construction set. We had a, a level editor, you can make your own levels. I spent so many hours just making levels. I loved it. It was it was really good, but I, I love I love games with editors. They're great fun. How many more do we need? Nineteen. We need five. Don't kill yourself. Ooh, oh, 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 I thought like that rock was going to splatter me then at the top. We'll get that one. And that timer's ticking down. So I'm... now this is going to be interesting. Go up there. So, where's the dark? Oh, there's one over there. Over there. Get them down. There. Now, don't trap yourself. Now, look, you trapped yourself. <laughs> I said, don't trap yourself. And the first thing you do is trap yourself. Well, what a burk. Now, I know there's a key to reset. Sort of kill yourself, but I can't remember what the body button is. Um, it's not R. Uh, it's not space. That's <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It won't be escape. It will. Uh, it will be escape. There we go. I don't mind. I was so close to doing that as well. So close to doing it. Don't trap yourself and immediately traps himself. What a fool. So right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate it when they drop like that. You, you never know exactly where they go. Well, some people do actually, but I, I, I don't. Don't kill yourself. Come on, man. Now you killed yourself. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
I think that's game over. Yep, that's game over. So there's Boulder Dash. Um, can we just go a quick whiz on a different level? You know, I can't remember. I always like a different bloody level. Oh, there we go. Level 5. Let's try a little quick look at level 5. And you can see it's turbo mode. Wow. So fast. But there's no nasties around. I expected more nasties. I really did expect more nasties. There's all kinds of weird creatures when you get into the later levels. But the time is already ticking. Bloody hell. <laughs> Here we go. Here's the nasties. And there they are, yeah. Well, what you want to do with these buggers is drop a rock on them to kill them. But you got to be quick. And that's let two, let's two out straight away. Nope, kill me. Yep. <laughs> this is tricky. And it's also it's all sorts of weird things there. Let let them in levels. Come on, let's have a quick another go on this. So what are you supposed to do here? Because as soon as you move, that, that one's left out. It's already one. Floating around, and that one goes. It's uh, it's very tricky, isn't it? Right, where are we going with this? Oh dear! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I thought I'd go up and try and shoot a rock down on it, but forgot about the other one. Oops. I don't know. This is, this is tricky already. I'm not sure how many levels are in this, actually. Oops, look, look at that. Bloody killed already. I'm not sure how many levels are in the original game. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I believe there was quite a few. Game over. <laughs> So that's Boulder Dash, and if you're not really crap at it, it's a gem of a game. I'd say either way, it's a gem of a game. So give it a go. There's, there's loads of different variants. Boulder Dash 1, 2, 3, Construction Kit, and it's, it's on practically every bloody system, you know? All sorts of every, every, everything. So have a go. It's brilliant, and it can't be as bad as I was. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>